it's gonna be steep. It's still gonna be pretty steep. Yep. Just roll it if you like. Roll, not roll the jeep, but roll through it if you need to. There you go. It's gonna What's up, Light Bright Nation? What's going on, Light Bright Nation? What's up, Light Bright Nation? Sorry about last time. I'm better now. <laughs> she she's, little little she, she's like, I put makeup on today. No, it's fine. You're always beautiful. Guys, so today is our very first day here at Easter Jeep Safari, and we are doing our first trail. So it is a Best Top sponsored trail. We are doing, what's it called? Steel Vendor. Steel Vendor. We are doing Steel Vendor today. And as you can see, we have a pretty darn good group with us. So we're expecting it to be a pretty rad day. I can turn now. I have. Uh, does it feel have, nice having yeah, a so steering nice box that's turn. functional? Back here, as you can see. Yeah. At least there's toilet paper in case of emergency. Yeah, in case of emergency. <laughs> so, as most of you guys know, Kevin and I are actually running a Best Top Trek Top Ultra on the Stepchild, which we love for two big reasons. A, it has that Sunrider feature that we love a lot, except it's kind of a little bit better because not only does it open up so that the front seats have views of the beautiful sky, but the rear seat does as well. So, if you have kids or friends like Sarah riding along with you, it's perfect. The second reason we love it, of course, is because it slides and folds down all the way into the cargo area, which means that you have this huge open air feel and it's super easy, super quick to do. But we do have a surprise for you guys as soon as we get off this trail, because although we really love this Trek Top Ultra, this afternoon we're going to be changing it to something different. And if you want to take a guess as to what it'll be, now would be the perfect time to let us know in the comments. No peeking, no cheating. What do you think we're swapping out the Ultra for? This is not safe, ma'am. <laughs> ma'am. I took off. They started rolling boards. I took off. You're going to run into somebody. I'm not going to run into somebody. Why do you assume that I'm going to rear end someone? you're a woman. I will knock you okay. right off this. Nope. Friggin close it. Close the door. Get him, Sarah. Nope. Don't let him back in. Nope. <laughs> Kevin made the mistake of getting back out of the vehicle. Bye, Kevin. See you later, alligator. <laughs> Come on, Kev. You can do it. If you don't feel a pain in your legs, you're not doing it hard enough. Come on, Kev! I'm gonna take off. <laughs> don't think I won't. Don't think I won't! <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I love you. I won't take off this time. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Okay, okay, for real now. You can get in. You think you're funny? I, I mean, Sarah thought it was funny. <laughs> So tell me your wife is good at multitasking without telling me your wife is good at multitasking. <laughs> so we've made it to the hardest obstacle on the trail, which is right here behind me. And it's actually called the waterfall, which for four door, not too, too bad, but for a two door can be super scary because it is a very steep vertical drop that is known to not be very very kind to the the shorter wheelbases so for the two doors what we're doing on this trail is we're actually as you can see we're strapping them to keep those rear wheels on the ground so they don't pop up because right there or is it a cliff on the other side of that side. <laughs> see his front tires aren't even all the way down the back tires are it's 
It's definitely vertical for a two door. Right Without there. the strap, you wouldn't oh, have as much yeah. control coming down, so it could yeah, definitely okay. get sketchy real quick if you're not careful. What happens here? Right about there, Kev. Yeah, a little bit driver, just a teeny bit. Ooh, ooh. All right, so Kevin doesn't have a strap on. Right. No strap on for Kevin. That's what she said. Well, uh, you can say your last. I'm nervous. It's gonna be. Oh, it's all the brakes I got. I, just roll it if you like. Roll, not roll the Jeep, but roll through it if you need to. It's all gravity from here. Oh boy. Oh. Oh. There's stuff in the back seat. Driver, driver. Right there. Yeah. Oh, what was the incline? Back yeah, up. Yeah, I forgot. Right there was 37. Yeah, it was a little steeper than that. Here comes rear end. It's weird when you're all the way in the floor, you're just falling. Like, yeah. you're just like, oh, there we go, that's it. That's all you got. <laughs> and right behind the waterfall, there is another little mini drop. Not nearly as bad. Two doors can do it safely without fear of, you know, flipping and dying. So, there's that. <laughs> that's, a pretty, that's a pretty good little obstacle section right there. Although, I will say that Jelly here seems slightly unimpressed to me. She's just like, eh. <laughs> Hold on, whoa! Oh, you couldn't find the brake pedal. No! <laughs> so this is one too where it might be smart if you have a spare tire to air the spare tire down that way if it does catch on the rock you have a much less likely chance of putting damage on your tailgate it'll just fold the tire but yeah uh interesting yeah. so the gladiator is going last because obviously he doesn't need someone to hold his rear tires down but the uh, rear overhang on the truck bed is going to be interesting to see just how much noise it makes coming down the end
stuff that was in my back seat is now in my back <laughs> seat. <laughs> So we are officially on our way out of the trail, but we're still gonna make it as interesting as possible by taking this super dugout line right here. Perfect. We had another Jeep hooked up a second ago, but it actually didn't have the grip or the power or some combination of both uh, to pull him up this. So we swapped out and we put Kevin and hooked him up. And so far, it looks like it's working. We just gotta maneuver him so that he's angled in the right direction for this next ledge. Right now you're tight. Real he's he's he struggling. He yeah. No way. Oh, that's no, hang on, back it up. smoking a little bit. We might have overfilled on oil. It's a teensy bit before the trip. It's fine. Well, let him try it with the key again real quick. No, he's doing nothing. Okay. Doing nothing? All right, well, you got it. You're the man now. You're the man now. I get under there, but you're already there. Yeah. <laughs> you got to stay under there now. Yeah, you got to stay under there until it starts. <laughs> yeah. 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 decided to officially, surprise, swap from the Trek Top Ultra from Best Top to the Trek Top, which is actually a soft top that we used to have. And what we discovered is that with the Trek Top 
Ultra, we loved the fact that it was able to open up all the way, but for us, the benefit of being able to easily access the Sunrider without ever leaving the front seat was a bigger benefit because Kevin and I are almost always by ourselves. We never have someone in the back seat of the Jeep, almost ever. Chop liver over here. <laughs> chop liver. <laughs> so for us, that benefit outweighed the benefit of being able to fully open and slide the entire top down towards the cargo area. Which I did like because it looked cool when it was all the way open, which you saw earlier in the video. But, but that's kind of the cool side of Best Top is they have so many different types of tops with so many different types of features that it's pretty cool that you can pick the one that best suits you and your Jeep and what you use it for. Right. And for Kevin and I, for the most part, we really loved just the plain old Trek top, which again, for anyone who's curious, we got in Twill once more because that is absolutely Dude, the way to go yeah. we started with just the sunrider remember when we had the hard top and the sunrider and which we, we loved loved it and yeah. i always hyped up that that was one of my favorite modifications that we had done to the jeep and then the trek top just kind of capitalized on that because it gave us the slant back look that we loved a lot with the sunrider feature that again you can open and shut within seconds at a stoplight if you wanted to on the go and it was super easy again the trek top ultra is super cool too because you can open it up all the way but the Sunrider feature opens all the way up to the back. So if you have kids or friends in the back seat, they can enjoy that same sun open air feel. We just don't need people in the back seat to enjoy it as much as <laughs> right. we do, so, you know. And you might be saying, Lightbright, what are you doing with your Ultra that's sitting right there? We're gonna be giving that away here at Easter Jeep Safari. So is this gonna be out before that? I don't know. This is coming out. The afternoon we're giving it away, so it too bad. Previous. But this is gonna, this. so, so if you're watching this, it's already begun. So we're gonna be giving this away to some lucky subscriber there's here. there's nothing other with it being a little dusty. There's nothing wrong with it. No. It's a fantastic top. We just decided we preferred the yeah. Plain old so top. one of you guys maybe watching this is gonna get this for free here at Easter Jeep or Safari. Or already has it, depending on when we give it away. But anyway, <laughs> today it was a great first day. <laughs> it was a great first day, and it was badass. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. Great, great first day here at Moab. So Easter for Jeep your, Safari. your first time <laughs> off roading ever, so that was so good. Your thoughts? You've never off roaded before. How do you like it? Yeah, no, not like this. It was literally like bonfire in Arizona kind of off-roading. So it was badass. I've never been that vertical in a Jeep or vehicle ever. And then yeah, it went ever. off that waterfall, which was... Yeah, it was just like there and it smacked down. So it felt like the rear end was coming up and stuff. I was like, okay, this is it. And this what you guys didn't see is on her side was the, the, the cliff. On my side, it was nothing. On her the side, she's on looking at like a 50-foot cliff yeah. and I didn't even think that that would have been scary because literally all I saw was just like death so but you, like, didn't, okay. you didn't you didn't die though no I nobody died kill me <laughs> <laughs> guys as always thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like subscribe and share remember you can find all your Life Bright Nation merch at lightbrightstudios.com all your Life Bright Nation decals at pixeldecals.com we love you so much and we'll, we'll see, you see you next, next time. time bye focus 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 Get it, get it, get it, not my foot.